everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you're returning and thank you so much. So today's video is my list of newborn baby must have items. So let's get into it. So item number one is a baby carrier and I have two that I would highly recommend. The first one is what we used inside the house and it is this called a Wilkinet four position baby carrier. And this was great. For the first two weeks of Peter's life, he was able to just be put down anywhere at any time and I knew that he would just pass out because he was just a sleepy little baby. But after that, he wanted to be held all the time. And um, yeah, you just couldn't put him down basically. And that's where this came in really handy. Equally to this, I would say a sling, a baby sling is really good. It's basically just for baby wearing. And I will insert some footage for how I put this on, put the baby in it and put it on. And it's very soft and flexible and you're able to wear it around the house and then sit down on the couch if you need to and and it wouldn't get in the way. But equally, he was safe and secure and close to you. The other baby carrier that I have is the Ergo Baby Omni 360, that's a mouthful. And this one, although it does say that you can use it from birth, up until 20 kilos. I didn't find this one was that good until Peter got to about six weeks old. Um, he was born at three kilos, so he was, oh, I don't know, closer to five when it was kind of more comfortable for us both to use it. But now that he's a little bit bigger, it is great and I would highly recommend it. Um, they're both, again, it's really easy to put on, but I prefer this one for outdoors rather than indoors just because, while it's not very bulky, it's still a lot more than just the other carrier or a baby sling would be. So it's not as comfortable to wear around the house for me, but I'm not very big and Peter wasn't very big. So I think the combination of us both maybe being too small for this thing didn't really work out until he was a bit older. But why I do love this as well is because it is really comfortable to wear. Like I was having so much back pain after I gave birth to Peter, also because I was recovering from a C-section and this really helped to straighten my back because I tended to be like this a lot. So this helped to kind of keep me up and it was really supportive and really comfortable. As well as that, it's convenient for going out because it's got a little pouch. You can put your phone, your keys in there. You don't need to take a bag and try to balance a bag with, with carrying the baby. And then it's also got this little built-in rain flap or sun flap that goes over his head if it's, you know, if he needs some kind of protection from the weather. Or if you just want to make it dark because he wants to sleep. And yeah, this is a bit pricier, but I would highly recommend it because it lasts until they are 20 kilos. So you can use it for years um, when you want to go on adventures and carry your baby around or your toddler around theme parks and all of that. So, or holidays or anywhere where there's just lots of walking and you no longer are using a stroller or a pram or whatever they're called. There's so many words for those things. Anyway, <laughs> so I would highly recommend this as well. Both of them are easy enough to do up by yourself as well, which is another huge factor to consider when choosing a baby carrier. The fact that, yeah, you don't want to have to need somebody else to clip you in at the back or anything like that, because otherwise there's just kind of no point for me. The next item is the Bonds Wonder Suit. This is not just any sleep suit. This has a zipper as opposed to the buttons that you find on a regular sleep suit. And the zipper zips from the top and also from the bottom, which is excellent for nighttime changes. When Peter was brand new, fresh little out of the oven baby, he was a tube. He would eat and poop at the same time. So the nappy changes were constant. And at nighttime, oh, we were getting up to change nappies constantly throughout the night. And you would undo all the buttons and then doing them all up and you get to the last one and realize that you've done it wrong somewhere and you have to go back and change it again. And it's just a nightmare when you're sleep deprived. This is much easier. The Bonds Wonder Suit with the zips. I would highly, highly recommend this. The next item on my highly recommended newborn baby list. <laughs> that sounds like I'm recommending babies, do you? <laughs> newborn baby items list is Cheeky Panda baby wipes. These are fantastic baby wipes. We tried these first, then we tried a bunch of other brands and we came back to these. 
let me just read what's on the back because it's better than how I could explain it. So these wipes are whipped up from the biodegradable bamboo instead of non-biodegradable ocean polluting polyester. We like that. And Panda's wipes are proudly vegan and never ever tested on animals, which is fantastic. Uh, we aren't 100% eco, like perfect people, but you know, we just try where we can and this is a really easy swap to make. And the other thing is, wonderful for babies, they're made from 99% water and 1% aloe juice and fruit extract. So just, yeah, all around fantastic wipes. But the reason why I like these ones in particular, because there's lots of um, other eco-friendly brands that use 99% water, but we found that they were just too wet. Um, and that led to nappy rash. Didn't matter how much we tried to dry his bum like unless we had a full day to let it completely air dry it was just it was just oh poor little guy I was always having nappy rash and we only yeah used them for a couple of days but these ones are wet enough to clean the mess easily but not so wet that they leave his bum wet for ages like they don't properly soak his bottom like he's had a bath they're just the perfect amount of moisture in these wipes so i highly recommend them the next item is this baby nail file kit Show you there and this was great or is great because using little clippers or scissors on their tiny little nails I was just all not confident in doing that I didn't want to cut his little fingertips or anything like that and make him scarred to ever do it again or make myself scarred to ever attempt it again and this is a little nail file kit which is just fantastic because it comes with <laughs> Oh, I've broken it. <laughs> so the next item that I highly recommend is getting a bedside crib. The ideal situation for us would have been to co-sleep with our baby, but I've just read too many risks about it and I was just a bit scared. I just wasn't confident with co-sleeping. So we got a bedside crib that attaches next to the bed. The side of it drops down so you can easily just reach in and snuggle your baby, touch your baby, feed your baby and he feels like he's in the bed with you. So it's just a really, really nice compromise between co-sleeping and having him in his own crib or Moses basket. The one that I've got, I will insert some footage now. The one that I've got is the Chico next to me crib, bedside crib. And if I was to repurchase it, um, well, I wouldn't repurchase this particular one only because my bed's too high for it. So that is my one piece of advice when looking for a bedside crib because it needs to attach flush to your bed. Do make sure that you measure your bed and make sure that the crib can, you know, match perfectly. I just assumed it would because the height is adjustable, but I guess my bed is still just that little bit too high for it. So yeah, don't assume that because the height is adjustable, it will fit your bed. Please do measure it because we still use it. We still love it, but it would just be better if it was flush to the bed. It would just be that little bit more comfortable for reaching in and for breastfeeding in a side lying position and all of that. And the last item on my list is a baby bouncer or rocker. I am not going to show you the one I have because again, I wouldn't necessarily repurchase this exact one. So I just want to say that I do think it's an essential item. I love the one I have. Now that he's old enough to rock it himself, it's fine. But in the very beginning, he wasn't old enough or big enough, strong enough to rock or bounce himself because we got an old school manual bouncer and we had to sit there and bounce the bouncer for him, which kind of made it redundant because you put the baby there so that you can go and do something for two minutes while he bounces himself and he wasn't able to do that so my tip is yes get a bouncer i think it's fantastic but get one that is automatic that can rock or swing the baby on its own so then you can put the baby in and you can go and do the dishes or go for a wee or whatever it is that you need to do so guys, that's it from me regarding my favourite newborn baby must-have items. I hope you found this video useful and if you know any mums-to-be then maybe you want to go ahead and share with them this video and hopefully it can help them. I think it's really important to get advice from other mums where you can. We all need to help each other out and I feel like this video in particular 
hopefully can help someone out especially if you're living in small accommodation personally i'm living in a flat so we don't want to buy things that are just going to occupy space and then they're not really that necessary also if you're on a tight budget or i mean well most of us are on a budget i think especially in these times um where a lot of us aren't working due to coronavirus it's it's helpful to have some advice on where to spend your money and where to save your money so i really do hope that uh this has helped somebody out there and that's it from me for today if you're returning from a previous video thank you so much for your support and if you're new here and this is the first time you're seeing me thank you so so much i don't know why you've clicked on this video but i'm so grateful that you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it leave a comment down below and please do subscribe and join my little community over here it would just mean the world to me until then i shall see you next time bye